Hello everybody, welcome back to another reading. Today we're taking a look at the case of Bianca Brill, who was 23 years old and when she was found on July 29th in 2006 in the woods near Woburn Common in Buckinghamshire. Her remains had been found by a man who had actually just pulled over because he needed to relieve himself and he saw some smoke coming from among the trees and when he went to investigate he found uh, the remains of a body that had been heavily burned and uh, the skull had been uh, severely damaged and the body remained unidentified for quite a long time. Meanwhile, her mother, who was still in Poland, where she was originally from, was desperately trying to figure out what had happened to her because she wasn't able to contact her for a while. And she was already concerned with Beata because Beata had initially gone to uh, London, which is one of her big dreams, with a man, and that man turned out to be quite abusive in many different ways. He was also violent. And when Beata came back to Poland to visit her mother, uh, this man was also constantly trying to contact her, and uh, her mother felt very much concerned for her daughter. She had told her mother that she was being assaulted and beaten, and potentially also, at least her mother suspected that she was being passed around uh, other older men, and she would try to run away from them, but they would always find her. And she would call her mother, sounding terrified, and saying that she was being threatened. Now, the night before the incident occurred, she had actually been caught on CCTV footage at Leytonstone Tube Station in East London. She appeared disheveled and thin, but they were able to use that image to match to the description of the victim, which they had tried to make a reconstruction of the face just to try and identify her. And since she was Polish, it took a long time before they figured out who she was anyway, because of course uh, most people within the UK had no idea who she was and were also not looking for her. But when they found that footage, they were finally able to put things together and contact her mother to collect DNA to confirm the connection. There is a lot of information, at least from her mother, on how um, Beato appeared to have been oppressed by this man. But there isn't much information about the man himself. I don't see anything about a name or anything like that. So nobody has really been arrested in this case. As far as I can tell, there have been no breakthroughs since then. And that is why we're going to take a look at this case using the tarot. We're going to start off with the wise dog tarot, which is already on the table. And for any further questions, moving on to the Divin Moon deck, which is this one. So as per usual, I'm just going to start shuffling the cards. As soon as I have about a table full of them, we're going to stop and take a look. So without much further ado, let's get started. All right, let's see what we got here. We're starting off with the sun in the top left, followed by the three of pentacles in reverse, and then the ace of swords in reverse as well. So I'm feeling like we're getting a little bit of the start of her uh, stay in the UK here with the sun shining very brightly and the white dog looks very happy basically the gray dog not so much this is like an irish uh wolfhound i think something along those lines um they do not look very happy or a borzoi if you want to get technical um they appear to be a little bit more apprehensive also possibly looking at the bird that's flying away 
there is the sun of course in the background but there is a shadow around the dog itself this may be the other person whom she went to the uk with and this dog over here is just happy to be there so i'm guessing that that is representing her energy in that moment like oh i'm so happy just to go there because it's my dream i've always wanted to go to london that type of thing and then we have the three of pentacles the white dog is also here interesting that we are also seeing them on the second card so there is some working against them possibly the other dogs didn't appear to be very interested in the pentacles themselves but they are kind of just there also they appear to be parts of um pipes at least the one pentacle down there in the bottom appears to be closing off a pipe in an area that looks like it's in the middle of a wall, industrial place, maybe someplace in the middle of nowhere. So this may be them working with her and she may have felt at some point that they were kind of taking her to places that were like not quite what she had imagined. Maybe slightly abandoned looking, possibly pretending that everything is great and that there is a plan as well because we have here the Ace of Swords which is always like a thoughts and words type of suit the sword. So they may have convinced her with words that this was the plan and this is how it's going to work and don't worry about it. Uh, I've got the wreath over here, almost like a, a six of wands situation, like I am the hero, follow me because I have the plan, like that type of vibe with them. So that is a quick introduction, I imagine, to their uh, decision to go there in the first place. We also have judgment in reverse, so possibly their judgment was not the strongest at that point. Next to that we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles upright. Okay, so don't know why that word came out with such intensity. Maybe because they really put a lot of energy in that as well. But the thing is, uh, this Judgment card in reverse, I said that probably reflects how she had bad judgments in that moment. But we very quickly see what the truth is or what it might be because the Ten of Pentacles in reverse over here showing potentially a, uh, a lack of uh, things that they potentially were promised at some point. So we see her realizing that things that she was hoping for were possibly not going to be realized, but we have this Queen of Pentacles energy over here. Queen of Pentacles being somebody who's very practical, and I felt as soon as I picked this card up that it was more her trying to make things work, just trying to make do, because she's here now, this is her dream. Oh great, well it's not quite what I had in mind, but we're gonna go ahead and make things work. Like that type of energy I feel is what's being uh, shown here. Now let's go to the second line. We have the Four of Cups in reverse, we have the Three of Wands in reverse, and we have the Two of Wands upright. Okay, so that those two class cards in particular are a little bit like can't go anywhere, but I would like to make plans. Uh, the Four of Cups in reverse is kind of like showing that she doesn't really know what to do, doesn't have a lot of options, still kind of in that same vibe of trying to make things work uh, like the dog is looking to walk away from the cups that are still upright but they're also just kind of like uh stalling a bit but there is a wish to go places but just an inability to do so even though they might want to make plans over here with the two of wands right next to it which is upright so they're thinking of plans they're thinking of things that they could potentially do but they're currently frustrated in their efforts to make them happen then we have the page of swords in reverse we have the page of wands upright and then the seven of swords all right so there's some deceit on the end there starting off though with potentially saying the wrong thing with this page of swords or maybe other people saying the wrong things or potentially also just quickly coming up with excuses as well to herself or other people who knows she may have had multiple people around her that were concerned possibly with her situation maybe just a random passerby like from that level to of course her mother and everything in between that may have seen uh, something about her that was not sitting right with them she may have decided to just tell them whatever to keep them uh, from being too concerned possibly uh, although she did actually tell her mother over the phone that there were bad things happening so she didn't quite do that with everybody she may have also told herself that things were not quite as bad as potentially they were because there are flowers on the card and the sun is shining past the darkish forest over there so maybe there is a little bit of after rain comes sunshine vibe there like as long as we stick it out i'm pretty sure it's going to be okay we just need to get through this right now because we have the page of wands here 
which is somebody who is fairly actionable, they just want to get things done, and they might not think too deeply about what it is exactly that they're doing, and uh, exactly what the consequences are going to be. This is kind of like just doing things for the sake of doing things and to keep things moving. Like this combination in particular, uh, maybe keeping our head down, we're just making sure to do things and uh, get her done, basically. Then we have the Seven of Swords, which is Deceit, I already said that, Deceit on the end right here, and maybe uh, the, she's lying to herself, she might also be lied to, probably definitely was being lied to, but yeah, there's a combination of that going on as well, so there is this vibe right now here on the end of the second row, that she's just doing what she's being told to do, and trying to make things work, and just try keeping her head down while things are being told to her, possibly by herself and probably also by other people, uh, that things are one way when actually they are the other. Let's move on to the Deviant Moon. Let's see what we can find about what happens next. Because I imagine that this is all just her lead up to this whole situation. Like, I'm guessing past this point, we're going to see more of, uh, like, um, her trying to get away from them. This is probably the lead up to the worst part, like where she was with the guy, initially things were okay, and then it kind of went downhill, went downhill, went downhill even further, and now she's like at this point where it's like, okay, I'm just going to keep trying until we get there, and I'm thinking that past this point we're going to see more of her running away and her attempts at fleeing the presence of this abusive man. Let's see what we can find. Alright, for once in reverse and a king of cups. Alright, so that's a very manipulative person right here with the four of wands in reverse. So the harmony is definitely lost in this instance, but there is this king of cups who is possibly uh, manipulating her emotions to try and keep her uh, on their side, possibly just uh, lying a lot more than usual, but also just kind of like playing on her emotions. Like she may be aware at this point that things are not right because we have this four of wands that is in reverse. So there is already a uh, breakup in the harmony uh, of this pair or whatever it is that they would call themselves. And he's got some type of blackmail maybe over her and just emotional blackmail to keep her from getting too crazy or trying to escape or something like it's often the case that they will abuse you mentally as well as physically so that makes sense okay all right, so we are still partying, but it's not quite what we had in mind. Uh, so uh, they are being manipulated possibly into doing things that they do not want, which is also something that her mother said that they were telling her. Uh, we have the three of wands. Again, we're trying to make plans. We're trying to go places, but we don't have the resources here with the five of pentacles. So basically she was like stuck because she didn't have anything to travel with, even though she really, really wanted it. Because you can see over here with the three of wands, they're looking at the wands, they're connected to them, and they're trying to possibly grow them faster because there's only bulbs, not full flowers, on the ends of the stems. And they're looking very pensive, like, oh my god, hurry up, please, I need to get out of here. And possibly thinking about leaving under the cover of night, because the night or the moon is also uh, shining its light on there. Those may be plans that she also thought about at night to try and figure out a way to get out. And, but she had no financial resources in order to do that, in order to achieve that. Okay. And we have the Eight of Cups, so unable to walk away. That makes sense. If you can't leave, then you're also unable to go anywhere. If you don't have the resources, I mean... We have the Page of Cups. Okay, so we have an emotional surprise here, which may have been a good one. Maybe there was a quick break that she was able to get. And uh, we have here the Six of Cups in reverse. So possibly some type of past situation propping up or cropping up. She may have at this point managed to get a ticket to Poland because she did actually manage to go back home at least once. 
we have here the nine of wands in reverse so there's quite a burden here that they are unable to let go i'm guessing this is then also uh the fact that he would not let her go while she was there and then we have judgment over here which is interesting because she did go back now I'm not sure if Judgment is pointing towards that fact as well, like she's over here traveling home, trying to, uh, I guess, reconnect with her old past and maybe failing with that because there is just this burden that's following her everywhere. And then we have Judgment and all the people there do not look very happy to be awoken from the grave. So it's more like somebody is judging them from afar. I feel like this is also... Um, judging herself possibly just like uh she feels like this is her burden to bear and therefore she needs to settle this somehow like that type of judgment there's all this calling and all of this uh adding to her burden is uh telling her she needs to deal with this herself and she can't run away by going back to poland like almost that that type of judgment self-judgment i would say all right let's see what else we can get Two fell first. We'll get to these in a moment. Put them over here for now so we have some space. All right, we have the moon. All right, there are hidden things going on. So she may have returned to secrets, uh, possibly plans from other people that she was not yet aware of. But her own mentality is one of temperance. So she is trying to keep things balanced and trying not to react too emotionally, maybe trying to figure things out after all. Uh, what happened and maybe trying to balance herself out to possibly save whatever it is she thought she had in a ways of relationship with this person or something along those lines uh, next card we have here is the eight of swords in reverse eight of swords is normally a trap that you can walk out of but this feels more like a trap that has become more permanent in her mind like this is something uh that i think people who are actually victims of domestic violence are aware of there is something that keeps bringing you back somehow and i feel like this is what this card is representing now over here we have the two cups yeah we were being drawn back in again and we have here the page of swords so more lies but maybe less mature ones like initially we have this king of cups over here who is very uh good at manipulating i feel like this is more of a quick patch in the ways of uh trying to get her just to go back on board with whatever it is maybe just quickly apologizing and saying that it won't happen again the things that probably haven't said before but somehow how it hits different this time now let's see because um i'm guessing we're coming closer to the end of july let's see what we can get about that there is a card here the fool all right so we are definitely trusting believing hoping that this is true that the words that they are speaking are actually truthful and that it's gonna get better this time so there may have been a brief period where things seem to be much better also looking at the snake at the foot of the dog right there so even though they want to believe in the good stuff there is that snake in the grass right we have three over here or more actually but we also have here the four of wands okay so we have a brief period of harmony as well like i said we're looking good both dogs appear to be in a similar position so i'm guessing this is also her experience again Queen of Cups in reverse. All right, so we have more manipulation here. I'm guessing this is what's keeping this little honeymoon phase upright. Then we have the Knight of Swords. All right, so somebody who is also similar to the Page of Swords over here, but a little bit more mature in their uh, methods. Uh, once again, manipulating with words and maybe speaking a little bit before their turn, possibly because they do have that quick energy about them still. 
and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So we still have a little bit of sweet talking here on the end and then things changed and I'm guessing this is the last and permanent change that they saw. We have the Three of Cups still trying to have some type of harmony here but these are more distant. I don't feel like she is any of these people in the uh, card. Could be that there are uh, other people joining in in this instance. Um, we have the Eight of Cups, unable to walk away again. So this may have been a, a situation where other men were brought in and she was not able to get away. Also, we are not able to communicate. This may also point towards uh, some type of getting away somehow like unable to walk away emotionally here and we have here the eight of wands uh, in reverse normally eight of wands i see a little bit like a chariot card but then like a smaller version also communication is part of the eight of wands but i feel like she may have been trying to either check out emotionally or mentally or she was trying to run away and then we have the seven of pentacles upright so we are now looking at what's growing on the vine she may actually get some inspiration from whatever it is or maybe just something that has come in like maybe she finds some money that she may have been owed by somebody uh, that she's now able to use or something she looks inspired here because i do feel like this card is representing her in this moment so maybe that was a quick getaway card option that she had that came out of nowhere seemingly oh, there we go okay so at this point she may be releasing the burden and it is dark so maybe she actually tried to escape in the dead of night it looks a little bit treacherous this dog is trying to walk across these uh, sticks and their paws may be getting stuck in the back there is a forest in the background as well so they may be uh, trying to escape through a forest as well in the dark and let's see what we can find oops there's a bunch that just fell out over here i'm feeling that we're getting closer to the conclusion here uh we have justice okay that's interesting so maybe she actually got some help from somebody who thought that they were doing the right thing or she was definitely doing the right thing and the lovers over here interesting follow-up maybe she actually found somebody who wanted to help her out somehow like or maybe she's just looking for people to help her out or because the lovers can also just mean signing up to a certain mindset that she came to a realization like oh no this isn't right and justice may also be pointing towards that like finally realizing that no this guy really doesn't care i need to get out of here and i believe what other people have told me in the past and they were right and that sort of thing the sun in reverse is uh, showing that the light is going down in uh, the world over there and maybe also because of the realization that she is no longer in the presence of somebody who cares about her and that may be a very sad realization that she has the star though it is upright so we are definitely being seen this could be where she is picked up by the cctv footage and also just out there in the world for i guess for people to see in general also just being seen and by people there not just by cctv i, I do feel like some of the clips that i saw saw somebody talking to her now that doesn't necessarily have to be a star moment but it could be just people recognizing that she was in trouble and trying to help out in some way emperor in reverse so somebody whom is normally a uh a father figure or somebody who is important who uh, lays down the law i guess in a person's world or has that type of role is potentially not doing the right thing uh, may also not be bothered too much we have the ace of pentacles all right so we do have a new initiative uh, for finances here maybe somebody gave her a quick donation because they felt like they were um in trouble and they wanted to help her out so while well, she may have encountered somebody who could have fulfilled a certain emperor role in her escape i'm guessing this is the escape uh, they didn't do that but they may have handed her some money to help her out in some other way maybe in a sense of okay here's some money get out of here but it helped her at least at that point uh, come up with some new uh 
plans because of the extra resources that she then suddenly had. All right, what do we have here? We have the King of Pentacles. All right, so somebody who is normally very practical, but this time not so much. It could be that she wasted her money, wasted her time uh, without possibly knowing that. Maybe she was acting in a hurry, of course, and uh, doing the wrong thing. Essentially, this could be as simple as buying the wrong tickets or just uh, trying to get a cab and uh, it costs more than she thought and then she loses a bunch of money that she could use for something else like that type of thing. Okay, so there aren't a lot of options for her. There is a key on this card, but they're not seeing it. It's behind her and she's not paying attention to it at all. All she's focusing on is the fact that there's a ship back there that she cannot get to. And she doesn't care about the other cups behind her. So maybe there are options that she could have chosen, but she doesn't consider them options and therefore ignores them. Okay, that's a lot. This one first. So we have Ace of Swords. All right, so a new plan, a new idea, and looks like she's fairly combative about it and uh, also very steadfast. Uh, she may have uh, really wanted to put all of her eggs in one basket in this case in order to get this done, get out of there. Uh, we have the three of pentacles people potentially working against her or at least uh, maybe not like intentionally working against her but more like there is a woman who looks a little bit disheveled uh, they may have some ideas about what she might actually be up to what her life might be like like uh, judgments being called upon her and therefore kind of like trying to shoo her away working against her in that way well, she, in the meanwhile, appears to be working very hard on uh, what it is she's trying to achieve here with this Eight of uh, Pentacles, focusing very hard, potentially trying her best to get the best results possible. And then we have a Knight of Wands here, King of Wands, sorry, uh, upside down it looks like Knight to me, but it's King of Wands. So there is somebody who is acting very quickly here. It could be here that the person catches up with her. I feel like this is not her. I feel like this is the other person, the assailant over here, and they're calling upon some type of uh, hierophant energy, like maybe uh, trying to call upon some type of authority over her. Uh, we're gonna go back to the top over here because it's quite a stack that we got right now. Page of Pentacles, all right, so these are investments that were made uh, badly, did not work out that well. We have the Four of Swords, we're not able to rest. This could be a run at this point, that she's running away from this person, but now we are hidden from the world. So I'm guessing this is the part where uh, she was unable to run from them and the world in reverse, that's why I'm saying it always strikes me as uh, being hidden from the world. So in this point, she is lost to the world, so even though she's trying to run away from this person, uh, there is a point where she is caught and then she cannot be seen anymore because the world is in reverse. We have here the King of Swords, who are also very manipulative over here. But then we have an Empress, so there may have been a moment where she was trying to take care of herself or somebody pretended to care for her in that moment. Like there may have been a uh, weird moment where her assailants kind of remembered how much they did care for her at one point even though that was probably a brief moment or she may have tried to do things to care for herself but she definitely knew what was coming down the line here with this high priestess she had an idea of what was coming up so probably she was also using this empress energy to prepare for that uh, we have the knight of swords so somebody's acting very quickly very rashly could also be with words again, maybe trying to uh, convince people not to do what it is that they're probably going to do. Oh, there's a lot of times in this reading that a whole bunch of cards fall out at the same time, but let's see what we got. 
Okay, well, let's see what we got here. I feel like we're gonna move on to the part where uh, the deed has already been done and we need to look at this person who has done the deed and see if we can ever find anything about them. But first we still have a little bit of her. We have here the Ace of Cups in reverse. So trying to appeal to some type of emotional connection possibly, but failing, trying to play our cards right here with the Two of Pentacles upright, trying to, I guess, balance things out again. Maybe seeing if there is an option somewhere, like trying to figure out if there's a, a way that she can jump out of the, the car, possibly. Then we have the star here in reverse. I'm guessing this is also where she uh, goes down. And there is a tree in the background. It's dark, similar to the 10 of ones that we saw earlier with going through the woods in the dark. And that's also a similar uh, situation here. But now we are losing our own light here with the star in reverse. And then we have the nine of wands. So there is a struggle here, but it's like um, they're, un they're unable to fight back, I feel, because it is a struggle, but it's on its side. So it's not like they're bearing the struggle anymore or the weight, so to speak, and they're just not able to deal with it somehow. It goes beyond their capacity. And then we have the Queen of Wands, which may be one final action to try and sort things out. But the wand is on fire and I don't think that it was very successful. Well, we know it wasn't successful, obviously, so now we used to say that, but all right. And there is a lot of fire. I just said the wand is on fire, but I'm guessing that is also a reference to how she actually uh, was found. But speaking of finding people, are we going to ever figure out who did it? Because that is the main reason why we want to do this reading in the first place to see who it is, or at least if you're ever going to figure it out. All right, so we have here the Five of Swords in reverse. So Five of Swords is uh, mental jousting, verbal jousting. Maybe they are telling a lot of lies. Maybe there are uh, things that they told people around them about where they were and what they were doing that were potentially convincing. I don't know, but they may have also been telling themselves that and they have managed to avert disaster here with the tower in reverse. So they were at least successful in keeping people off of their back. We have the King of Cups upright. So they are very emotionally manipulative and they're pretty good at uh, winning people over. I feel like even though the uh, waters around them are kind of rough they appear to be fairly calm and zen and doesn't really get bothered by anybody uh we have a two of cups in reverse so maybe they are no longer doing that type of thing like they may no longer be trying to uh trick girls into a similar situation as her like they may no longer be part of that group that does that because there was a whole group of men that they apparently had uh around her and maybe they are no longer interested in that type of thing. Maybe let's move on to something else. We have the Six of Swords, so this is somebody who is not moving. They may still be there in the UK. And then we have the King of Wands here uh, in reverse. So doing things that aren't quite right or helpful. Maybe also actively working against certain people, I'm guessing. Um, and by certain people, I'm referring to law enforcement, not the people that they used to hang with, because I'm pretty sure they haven't suddenly changed their ways that drastically. Uh, let's see what else we can get. Are we ever going to find them? And are they going to be brought to justice? Ace of Wands on its side, well, roughly upright. So I'll just pick this Ace of Wands upright. And then we have the Hangman in reverse. So we're unable to take another perspective. But I don't think I've ever had the Hangman in this uh, deck before. So that's also an interesting look. But anyway, Ace of Wands is upright. So there is some type of initiative being taken here. Some new 
action that's being taken, maybe something that hasn't been tried before, something that uh, they may have thought about doing at some point, but now they're like, actually they may not have because the uh, aura around this dog is like uh, inspiration type of thing, which is also like a fire thing, which is also what the wands represent. So they may suddenly have a great idea. And I'm guessing that this person who's having this great idea is possibly somebody who's trying to solve the case. And then we have here the hangman in reverse. So they're unable to take on a new perspective, which is unfortunate because you would expect the, the inspiration to go down a new path, but it looks as though they are still trying the old things, but with a new idea. Okay. The world in reverse. So this is something that they are trying privately first. They may have an idea that they're like, no, nah, I don't think people want to see this right away because it might look crazy or it looks like it may not come up with anything good. I'm just going to keep it to myself for the time being. And if it produces good results, then I'll show them like that type of deal. We have the nine of swords. Yeah, upright and they may be very much concerned about this as well like this is something that is concerning them greatly like almost like they're afraid of what the results are going to be like people are going to possibly be upset with it and that's why the world is in reverse they don't want people to see what it is that they're uh trying out we have here the Six of Wands, but it's in reverse. Six of Wands is somebody who's normally celebrated, so maybe they're afraid that this new idea that they have will make people uh, dislike them. Or the first thing that actually came to mind when I saw this card was perhaps there is somebody in focus who is potentially a suspect, but somebody who is currently uh, well lauded like somebody whom a lot of people like and they may uh, possibly cause quite a stir by accusing this person of something as heinous as that crime so maybe they are looking at some eggshells that they have to walk across in order to get anything done now let's see what else what's next or will they succeed at least Strength. All right, so they are going to push through, which is good news. So they eventually will uh, continue down their path, even though it's costing them quite a lot, because I imagine that they're going up against somebody who uh, will not appreciate their investigation. So maybe that's dangerous for them, but they are pushing it through. All right. And five of cups in reverse. Okay, so this may actually be a memory of a time when somebody really upset them and they were unable to let that go, which is interesting. So possibly this whole investigation came from somebody uh, doing them wrong in the past and that may have led to this inspiration. We have the six of pentacles in reverse which is not being given any sort of charity so nobody's actually supporting this research. Uh, could be that they are looking for financial resources but they're unable to uh, get any the usual way anyway probably because the people that they might be investigating would not appreciate that so they will probably try to stop it any way that they can. Uh, we are being very careful with the resources that we do have here. We're constantly looking over our shoulder, possibly also trying to figure out if the money that we're spending is uh, leading to anybody noticing what we're up to. That is the type of paranoia that I'm seeing here. And then we do actually see a new perspective coming in. So even though they initially started without one over here with the hangman in, in reverse, we now are looking at things differently. Uh, we're looking at a forest as well in the background, a person hanging in a forest with a watch or stopwatch hanging off of their heel. Maybe they are going back to the location to do something unorthodox, something along those lines. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, who is somebody who is very slow and steady wins the race, very methodical. So maybe they are taking their time and really turning over every leaf, potentially uh, Literally, can we see any results of that? So they're working very hard. The 
that one fell over here. The result is Nine of Pentacles, so could be that they are personally satisfied with their results, so they may find something that makes them go, yes, this is it, and this is going to help, and maybe this is also a uh, financial windfall that's going to help them continue their research. But what is that result publicly? Are we going to see anything about this? Are we going to learn about any of this? Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. A lot of cards and they all fell in my lap, so that's great. All right, so we are being slowed down. We'll go through this real quick because there's a whole stack here. Uh, even though we are on a good track uh, for his own uh, feeling, I guess we're being slowed down here with the charity in reverse. So now people are possibly finding out what's going on because we now have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe whatever financial gain that they had initially is now being taken from them. Possibly because their actions were a little too rash here with the Page of Wands in reverse. So maybe they actually got caught doing what it is that they were trying to do. Magician is in reverse, so we're also not very capable right now. Maybe uh, this is removing their ability to take care of this case or to look at this case. We have the Ten of Swords. Now we're very worried about the potential future or the potential consequences of this discovery. And we're doing things that are not quite a good idea. Maybe they knew beforehand that it wasn't going to be a good idea, but this Ace of Wands is saying that the actions that we're taking are not very positive and potentially not the best of ideas. We have the uh, Nine of Swords in reverse. So it could be that they're very worried about it, but it could also be that they kind of stop caring about things. And that's maybe where this Ace of Wands in reverse comes from. And these are all on their side. We have here the Nine of Cups on its side. Yeah, we're no longer caring about certain things. Like maybe there's a certain part about this investigation that kind of transcends um, caring too much about their own personal well-being, possibly, or emotions in any case. Uh, we are just uh, accepting whatever's coming off of the vine here, what we've planted, and maybe you're having a little bit of mixed feelings about that, but I do feel like that I feel like it's important enough to possibly go after this person or expose them that they will continue with their thing. And then we have the Seven of Cups, possibly wishing that things were different, maybe also keeping an eye out in case there are other options, but currently not finding any and then we are trying to figure out how to communicate with the world over here with the Eight of Wands on its side. So also trying to figure out our next move as well. So it looks as though somebody is going to try to uh, investigate this case in a new method. Initially looking at all the old stuff and then getting an inspiration to try something completely different. Uh, it may involve somebody who will not be very happy to be investigated, might also be dangerous to investigate them. And this person uh, may eventually also become aware of them and then things get very dicey for whomever this is. So it's kind of still up in the air if they're going to uh, be able to get anything out into the public. I feel like they are going to keep trying, like it's important enough to them to keep trying. So I'm guessing there is good hope that somebody will figure something out and hopefully we'll also get some information. This could also mean them trying to put something out into the public eye and it being distorted somehow because it's on its side. So all of these cards that are on the side are kind of like dubious reading cards over here that may or may not be a good thing or may or may not lead to a good outcome. So that is what I'm seeing for Biata. Uh, I hope you found that interesting. In any case, make sure to leave a like and a comment. That really helps the channel along. If you want to subscribe, that's even better. We're trying to get to 1500. I hope to see you in another reading. Thanks for watching and bye bye for now.